Hi, how you all doing? Hope everyone's okay. I, um, I think I missed a couple of details in the previous two videos and have, should have made the obvious point of why Buxby would uh, value people creating sustainably. In our current money market where currency is a commodity, uh, there's always this incentive to make profit. So part of profit is to make things obsolete. We've known this for a really long time and anyone who watches shows like Shark Tank or whatever will see that they ask you you've made a they ask people if they've made an end of life solution and therefore there's no way to make profit. So even in the market now where people are creating energy in a or looking at energy in a sustainable way, they still require a lot of maintenance and there may be better ways to make maintenance free or really low maintenance solutions. And this is all just part of currency. Instead, we got to be looking at things which are what I call redundant. The people have moved past the point of needing a product and therefore people have can evolve to something else instead of being stuck in the one thing and trying to make a profit out of that. Even with the people like uh, Elon Musk who's looking at some really you know solid solutions given our current framework he had to create a lot of money and then put himself on the line to do the things that he's doing differently. And it's really interesting how lambasted he gets. But um, anyway, that's people. Uh, but he's doing the best in the current model that we have. But look at how many people don't have access to currency who would like to at least sustain a living in doing something where it's more likely to be sustainable. Uh, I'm talking about people like villagers and uh, who are borrowing money from uh, Grameen Bank, which um, he's valued getting, he got the Nobel Peace Prize, but really he's just making a shitload of money uh, with people that don't have access because his interest rates are really quite high. And even though people, uh, last I checked, the majority of people uh, pay the money back, it's um, he's still being a banker and capitalizing on what people don't have, which that's even how central banks got started, is to, uh, to borrow money to a government to pay for a war, which only goes to show how pathetic um, identity through war is or democracy through war is these things just don't work so in Buxby because it's free um, it's stable there's no um, commodity to invest in to make money on the currency growing it grows because it's based on the people doing work for it and choosing to use it so there's no need for interest or, as I've said before, taxes, etc. The one thing that Buxby can do is it reverses the price mechanism. Price mechanism is usually things of higher quality cost more. But in Buxby, your identity is based on your quality and how sustainably you make that to redundancy. So it's all about how many people do you empower with what you make in the most sustainable way possible to redundancy. That's the objective of Buxby. Um, that, and that's how it drives creating sustainably by default. And this will happen across the whole uh, framework around people using Buxby. That also stabilizes the volume of currency available. Or actually, because the bank pays for things that are given for free to the community, there's this separation between the amount of money available and how many people price the goods the way they do. 
so in, in normal usury currency, uh, the volume, uh, the prices change for the volume of currency available because we consider it to be perpetually scarce. But in Buxby, it's separated. The volume of money around doesn't equate to the prices changing to grab more of, um, of it because there's no commodity value in the currency. It, um, I think. <laughs> so, because the, instead of trying to value how much, how the amount of the money that you have to be considered wealth, it's the quality that you create, and that can be sold as cheaply as possible. And that, uh, that, affords people connecting to you and and how you are known as a better creator than someone who's being less sustainable. That also allows people who are competing usually for a market share to connect together and make something even more sustainable. And that's that's just by simply changing the currency. A lot of people think that changing currency is a really small part because human nature is shitty or they want to perceive that human nature is shitty. But human nature adapts to the environment that it's in to succeed. If that means a cutthroat, uh, to be cutthroat um, in a scarce resource world, then that's what you're going to get. And while I understand that resources are scarce, it's how well we use those resources that create abundance. It's not just abundance about self. It is about abundance for everybody. And this is another distinction of Buxby, is we are taught to be moral or that it's virtue, virtuous to consider other people at the expense of self. And very few people are going to do that because we're in a self-centric framework. And to be honest, there's nothing wrong with being self-centered. But change the frameworks about the direction of where self-centered goes, and then things change. And so in Buxby, it promotes achieving excellence. That's a self-centric framework. But instead of being self-centric uh, against people, it's about being self-centered with people. Okay, I will. I have a lot of notes. I will do something more later on. Take care.